Welcome to Mesa RC. Me, Mr. Marshall, and I got Megan here. And uh, got to be pretty excited, right? Because she's bringing in the revised MF Wolverine version 2. It's actually kind of like uh, three or four. We had a first version, I think it was like five years ago. It was very boxy. And then it went to the sandwich style. Um, but the sandwich style was doing really well in kit sales. However, um, one of the issues was that um, our customers were having issues with trying to get the sandwich part right. And so that was a problem, and that was a problem that you took. And so how did you go about solving and getting that sandwich problem out? And what did you then now do for this one? Well, I kind of took like the style of the 35 Lightning. Yeah. And then I just Which is our, one of our, our most selling builds, popular builds. Okay. And then I just kind of took like the same shape that the old Wolverine had, like with the like curves and like the bends and stuff. And then just kind of combine them. Well, we already talked about this in the main, or in the uh, prototype, but your the, the new airfoil style is, is what's crazy. And Demario from Elite um, was working on his Beyond plane that um, forced him to do these weird type of fold overs, and so you uh, pretty much adopted the same type of approach, and you came up with this um, awesome uh, design that we just had to paint it just like the Wolverine colors from the comic book. Um, character, so it ended up being pretty cool. Yeah. Um, and you got the build video already for your for um, our viewers out there. Um, and how'd that go? Pretty good. Yeah. <laughs> it was good. You guys will see that. That'll be the next episode. Uh, will be the build video of the green. Um, but sh uh, Megan has done an amazing job. This this plane is solid. Um, what's really cool about this plane is that um, because of the way the air the wing is shaped. It's forcing the battery to, to um, be where it is, which the CG is about right here. So as the battery comes closer to the CG, we get um, better roll rates, we get better flipping. We get, I mean, just the plane um, in general flies a lot better than having the weight of the battery all the way up towards the nose, which most of our planes are kind of like in that area right here. So it ends up um, making for a beautiful plane. So you made a couple changes to your the final from the prototype, right? Yeah. So here's our prototype. And so what did you get away with um, on the prototype? In the prototype I had like a extra like strut there. Yeah. But I got rid of that so it'd be more streamlined and so look cleaner. Here's the new fix. Okay, what else did you redo? And then I think on this part I added these little holes. All the like tabs, the to, tabs fit in. to like fit into here, which makes it look a lot more clean. Right, perfect. And then I think that was pretty much that was pretty much it. Yeah. Um, the center of gravity for this plane is two and a half inches from this back leading edge, so um, that's kind of seems to be the sweet spot in there. And you guys can play around with it from there, um, you know, depending on what kind of stuff you have. Um, the Wolverine has, has been one of our staple planes. It's, it's um, our most downloaded plane when we first the first initial design, um, and uh, there's no doubt in my mind that your plane is just going to rock, and everyone's going to want to download it because it's just too cool. And so this is all Megan's hard work, um, and you did something so that our viewers, or our customers, or whoever's building it, has a better chance for the airflow. What'd you do? So I kind of like broke all the pieces up and then labeled them. So like left is on the left side if you're facing the back back so this would be left yeah. yeah and then the they're numbered like one through seven like one being at the top so this is like left one left two and then so on and that's like right one right two perfect so you know where they're going you don't really have to guess and stuff nice so yeah I, I went ahead and I built one for elite student Nick for high school to fly on Wednesday and so um, I followed her her steps and her plans and it was easy. I actually, you know, the airfoil was a little more time consuming, um, but once it was all glued in place, it, it makes for a super strong plane. Um, and it was, it was easy. You did a good job. Everything fit perfect. So the kits are set. Those will be out to hobbies. Um, where do you go from here? I'm not really sure. Probably designing another plane, maybe starting from scratch. Very cool. Um, are you going to use this one to, because now you've created a plane. That's step one out of the way. Now the next thing is you gotta fly. So are you gonna use this plane to do your uh, top base? 
Maybe. Cool. All right, well, enough talking. Let's go out and fly this thing. Sounds cool. Good. Me and Fly, you ready? Yeah. <laughs> that was really bad. Yeah. 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 Sound like Mickey Mouse. <laughs> That was, that, that was, yeah, super creepy. Yeah. I'm sorry. Here we go. <laughs> Super cold. Wet. Mm, kind of. Yeah, so you're going to want to take this back and switch sure. What is your battery still plugged in? I see. Yeah, it's still plugged in. So what do you think? Good. <laughs> it's perfect. Yeah. <laughs> um, I mean, too easy, right? I mean, there was, there was a couple times where, I mean, I'd say she flew almost the whole entire time. And um, I think that you can definitely get the top base with this plane. Yeah. I think if we continue to practice more often, I think you're going to nail it. Yeah. Uh, but other than that, good job. Um, but let's go ahead and hand it over to um, our elite student, Nick, um, to see what he can do with uh, the Wolverine, and, and we'll go from there.
Oh, Alright Nick, so what do you think of Megan's plane? It's awesome. I flew the other one, I built it, hand built it, and it sucked. The wings kind of folded on me every time I'd pull up, which this one does not do that at all. You're talking about the old version? Yeah, sorry. The old, the old version. version? Sweet. So this, yeah, because you were pulling um, pulling it pretty hard there, going pretty fast, yeah. and, and it still wasn't folding up the wing at all. So um, Not even any flex. Too. So you weren't able to do invert? No, I think it's just too heavy, too nose, nose heavy. Okay. It's just a big battery. Right, it's huge. And um, but everything else is pretty pretty cool? Yeah. Would you recommend it? Yes. Awesome. I might build my own. <laughs> Good job. All right, well, this is uh, this will conclude uh, Megan's um, MF Wolverine revision of all the past Wolverines that we've done. Um, this is, is too cool of a plane. Um, it should be uh, available at Altitude, Ho Altitude, my mouth's freezing, <laughs> altitudehobbies.com. Um, go support the program, support Megan's build, and uh, stay tuned for some more action. Thank you for watching.